I can't be more proud to be the head coach of this football team. That right there in the second half is our identity. Yes, sir. Believe in it, practice it, preach it, demand it out of each other. We write our story. It's intercepted, fired. You just never know, and that's how we're built. We don't panic, we don't freak out. Put the next guy in there. Oh, Don Trell! Deontay Foreman! You fight like you did in the second half, I'll take you in any street fighter. We fight our ass off, find out who we play, where we play them, and what time we play them here, and continue to prepare. We're gonna win a ton of games. One play at a time, one practice at a time. Win every day, not just every game, win every day. But we're gonna go all the way, bro. Yes, we gotta sir. take it one week at a time, bro. One week at a time. Let's go, baby. Hey, Titans on three. One, two, three. Titans! the playoffs. Yeah. Welcome to the Titans Blitz, baby! Woo. If you could just keep that up for 30 more minutes, we'll have a full show. Welcome, everybody, to the Titans Blitz. We are live downtown Nashville, Nissan Stadium, where the AFC runs through, right? It goes yeah. through Nissan Stadium. Uh, listen, what a year it's been. Uh, it's been an amazing season. It's had its ups and downs. It's then some, but we are number one in the AFC. We've got to take care of business this weekend against the Cincinnati Bengals, and we'll talk about that on the show coming up. But uh, as you can see, I am uh, I'm without a co-host. Uh, this show has been incredible for five seasons. Eddie George, the man, sat right here uh, hosting the show with me. It was great, but we love you, Eddie. He went off to go uh, coach TSU, proud of him. And this year we've had a revolving door of guest hosts. Uh, they've all been great. We love each and every one of them. This week, though, you think I'm flying solo, right? Actually, we thought we would have a special guest. Uh, we changed it up a little bit. This time we thought we'd bring in a, uh, well, a college coach. Ah, what am I kidding? Ladies and gentlemen, Eddie George! <laughs> Couldn't string that out. I had to bring the man out. <laughs> Have a hey, seat, man. Oh. oh, this feels right. Yeah, it does. Yeah, man. man. Like, I like old times, brother. Like, like old times. Old times. The seat still, still, still. Had still a few nice guys here. in there. Yeah. CJ2K was here. Mar yeah. Mariani, Keith Bullock. You know the whole gang. Uh huh. Good, but we missed you. I, I miss being here. I, 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 I cannot lie. I miss seeing the, the smiling faces, uh, hearing the Titan chants, the Eddie chants. Yeah. What a what first seed, huh? Oh, AFC. Yeah. Huh? It's supposed to be packed this weekend in the house. So. The team's been busy. Hey, yeah, they have. Yeah. Man. Hey, we'll, we'll get to it. But real quick, uh, you know, you went off head coach, TSU. Uh, great oh, job. Yeah, uh, yeah. How was it? How was it? I mean, you know, I remember you telling me about it when they offered this, you yeah, the job. Yeah. It was right here in this right seat. Right in this seat. I yeah. was like, oh, man. And then you took it, and, and your uh, expectations going in, coming out of it. I mean, did it take you a while to feel like you get your sea legs under yours? You know coach? what? I'm still getting my sea legs under okay. me. Okay. Uh, but it's been fulfilling um, because I have a chance to – uh, pour into the lives of these young men and give back to the game that gave me so much. Yeah. Uh, uh, never, let me, th yeah. Those were the first words out of his mouth when he <laughs> told me that he was offered the job. It was about those kids. Yes. So, yeah, man, yes. you did it. It was, it was a wonderful year. Um, a lot of highs and lows. Learned a lot mm -hmm. through the losses. Yeah. Or, I mean, to learn how to win, you have to learn how to lose. Mm. And I've learned, I've learned it as a player, but now as a coach, um, I can't necessarily impose my physical will on anybody. I have to do, yeah, I have to. <laughs> so that's a Bruce area. I, I have to um, uh, explain, I have to encourage, I have to learn my players and how to motivate them individually to influence them to do the right things. Yeah. And really um, teaching and preaching to them to be better people. Mm -hmm. And as a byproduct of that, I will get what I want on the football field. So it's been, it's been gratifying. And yeah. it came at a, t a time in my life where I lost both my parents last year. So it's like two months apart. So oh, I needed wow. that 
more so than they needed me. You so it was, it was a true it. gift. Wow. It is, it, gift, it, yeah. it, we are honored and humbled by your presence back on the show. Thank <laughs> you for glad coming to be back, back, man. man. Absolutely. It's Absolutely. good to see you. Well, uh, uh, for all that you've been through, all that you've been going through, have you been able to watch the Titans? I have. Yeah? You know, on, on Saturdays after we break down, oh, excuse me, Sundays we break down the, the game from Saturday. Yeah. I had the game on. I'm checking them out and seeing what they're doing. And unfortunately, we lost our big dog and Derrick Henry earlier this season. But – the train just rolls. It, it did. It, it, it was amazing to watch. They put together uh, Deontay Foreman, Dontrell Hilliard. Yeah. I mean, they were, you know, Jeremy Nichols there. Anybody they could get, but they, they kept the game plan moving, and we were still putting up big numbers on the ground. Well, uh, and, and that's a testament to Mike Rabel, who yeah. should be the NFL Coach of the Year. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> sitting in a seat of as a head coach, when you lose bodies like that, when you lose your best player, you, you're dealing with uh, your best receiver coming in and out. Julio Jones was in and out. Um, you have now have uh, implemented a system that you can – that's tried and true. Mm -hmm. It all starts up front with the big boys, you know, offensive line, defensive line. They've, the defense really came of age this season. Yeah. Um, how they only garnered one uh, All-Pro or Pro Bowl players beyond me. Right. Yeah. That's 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 ridiculous. Colts get seven, and where are they watching? Yeah, uh, watching. So, yeah. so, but but I say all that to say that um, they've been able to establish a system that uh, that anybody can come and, and, and do their thing, and they're the number one seed in the AFC. They, they didn't just make the playoffs, given all the challenges yeah. uh, with the roster. They're the number one seed in the AFC. Took ownership been of it. Yeah. Took ownership of it. So remarkable. Remarkable job by Mike Vrabel. And Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, real quick, real quick. We got the guy. Uh, we got to go to break in a second, but we got our man back. We got Derek back. Uh, you know, uh, what do you think has been going through his head watching, knowing what he oh. can do for this offense? I mean, what's been, what he's been going through over the last eight, nine weeks. Yeah. I mean, he's been trying to get back. He went dark off of social media just yeah. trying to get healthy. And, and I hadn't been in that position. You know, I know what the mindset he's been in. Um, I'm going to say that I'm glad he's back, but let's ease him into it. Treat him like a third strength running back. Okay. Give him some touches here or there yeah. if he plays. I mean, listen, he's not in sync with the offensive line. He's not game ready. Um, he might break off one or two big plays, but to what avail? He, they may win this game. They're going to win this game. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. How, yeah. how will he respond after that the yeah. next week? You want to have him for the long term, especially next season yeah. and years to come. So let's be cautious. I will say this. Uh, yeah. Just his presence alone is going to make an <laughs> impact, just like your presence alone on this show yeah. is making an impact. Looks left, fires, Julio Jones, touchdown, Titans, finally, Julio! Trouble, hit, throws it away, it's intercepted at the five, as Simmons had him, was going to take him to the ground, Stafford winged it right into the arms of Long, who nearly got into the end zone. He fires downfield, touchdown, Titans! to the Titans Blitz coming to you live from Nissan Stadium. Lance Smith back with Eddie George, the one and only. Good to have you back, man. Glad to be back. I stole this from one of the fans. So. Yeah, I got that from the audience. This is sweet right there. I love it. It's nice. Yeah. Is it too heavy? You got it? You can handle it? Of course. I got a big neck. You can handle it. You can handle it. <laughs> uh, man, so we, you remember this segment we used oh, to do yeah. with it. Yeah, it was like a love favorite. It. Listen, this year, we had to mix things up with you being gone. We had CJ2K here, and, mm -hmm. and they made me draw against CJ2K. And this, really? The segment coming up, Vague Van Gogh, is, uh, you'll, as you'll see, features uh, child artists drawing their favorite Titans players and seeing if they can guess who it is. Mm -hmm. But they made me do it in front of this crowd with CJ and CJ1. I didn't know he was an artist. Really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. wow. He's too old to be on this segment, but right now, check out the latest edition of Vague Van Gogh. Wait, hold the phone. <laughs> there's, no, there's no way. There's no, there's, there's no way. 
the red cleats, the red gloves. I see the muscles. So there's only a people, couple people that have red cleats. I like the touch. I like the Nike sign right here. Got long legs here. Looks like he's doing a stiff arm. This one gives it away right away from me. Why? Because the ball's tucked high and tight. You might think I'd be saying the stiff arm. Because you know, the king loves the stiff arm. But the king also loves fundamentals and techniques. And with the fundamentals techniques, you notice that ball is high and tight with the chop or the rake as other defensive players would take it. This is an easy guess for me. I'm gonna go with myself. Cause I'm a red glove, red cleat kind of guy. Gotta be Derrick Henry. I gotta say Derrick Henry. I'm gonna go with Derrick Henry on this one. Tough torso, but this is gonna be Derrick Henry. Oh, this is a stiff arm. This is D-hand. Which kind of makes sense because this is stiff arm arm. So I think I should have got that from the jump, but. Oh, that's fantastic. Thank you, Aaliyah, age yes. five, for yes. drawing uh, Derrick Henry, which uh, Eddie knew right away. Uh, the legs gave it away. The legs. <laughs> the, the legs. legs. The big right. torso and the stiff arm. arm. Yeah. <laughs> it's better than I could do. Yeah. All right, how's your trivia knowledge? Ooh, uh, I'm, I'm a little rusty, but I'm, I'm always good to go. We got all sorts of new uh, new segments on this. I like it. Keep it going. We've been mixing it up a little this bit. Is changing things up on We them. have been just a little bit. All right, we got the uh, Titans trivia gauntlet on the other side. Do not go far. Titans Blitz will be right back. Stick around. To the Titans Blitz. I'm hanging out with a few new friends of mine, Dan and Teron, and it is time now to put them through the Titans trivia gauntlet. Perhaps we'll make that less spooky next year, but uh, it's, it's, it's playoff time, so get serious, get scared. Dan, how you doing? All right, how are you? I'm good. You ready for this? Yes, sir. Love your Titans? I do. Better. Teron? All day. You better say it. All right. Yes, I, kick, I kick people out for Sign less. Up. Sign up. Sign that is up. the word. All right, here we go. Uh, Dan, you won the rock, paper, scissor contest to start this thing. I've got six questions, three questions apiece for each of you. Then I got a final question worth two points, and the winner gets a nice prize at the end. You ready? Here we go, Dan. First question for you. They start easy, they get harder. Which team, Dan, is not in the Titans division? Jaguars, Texans, Browns, or Colts? Browns. Browns, that is correct. Used to be. Not anymore. Not anymore. One point for you, Dan. Question to you, Teron. Here we go. Which team is not in the Tennessee Titans conference? Patriots, Bengals, Chiefs, or Packers? Packers. That's right. There we go. Ooh, it's all tied up. Question number three. Here you go, Dan. What is the name of the Tennessee Titans current offensive coordinator? Is that Arthur Smith, Dean Pease, Todd Downing, or Shane Bowen? Uh, Arthur Smith. Right there, going with Arthur Smith. Arthur Smith is now head coach of Atlanta. All right, Teron, chance to take the lead here. Question number four. What team employed John Robinson immediately before he became the general manager of the Titans? Was that the Buccaneers, the Patriots, the Falcons, or the Panthers? Patriots. The Patriots. The Patriots. It was actually the Buccaneers. It's all tied still, though. Next question for you, Dan. Here we go. Look to the screen. Which of these Titans attended a college closest to the North Pole. Which of these Titans attended college closest to the North Pole? Was that Jeffrey Simmons, Christian Fulton, Ryan Tannehill, or Taylor Lewan? Taylor Lewan? Taylor Lewan, yes, Michigan. That is closest. Everybody else is south of the Mason-Dixon line. <laughs> okay, Teron, next up for you. Reading from the screen, here we go. Who was the Titans' opponent when Rob Barona set an NFL record with eight field goals in a game? Eight field goals in that game. Set a record, Rob Aronis did. Was that against the Chiefs, the Texans, the Rams, or the Dolphins? Texans? It was the Texans, he says with somewhat confidence. <laughs> uh, next up, Dan, here we go. Final question, you each get to answer this one. Prior to Derrick Henry, who was the only other Titans player to end a game with an overtime touchdown run? Prior to Derrick Henry, only the Titans player to end a game with a touchdown run. Chris Brown, Eddie George, Vince Young, Chris Johnson. What say you? Eddie George. Eddie George. Teron, you get to answer as well for two points. You going to change it or do you want to say somebody else? We'll go Eddie. You're going to go Eddie? It's actually, anybody else know it? Vince Young. Vince Young. Oh, All right. Man. For the tiebreaker here, Dan. 
Closest, here we go. You can't go over how many passing yards does Ryan Tannehill have for the season? Take a, take a wild swing. Uh, 950. 950. Teron. 3,500. It's actually 3,500 oh, uh, or 3,734. He was very close. Teron is the big winner this evening. <laughs> Dan, you did a fine job, but Thank Ryan's been it. slinging it a little bit more than that. How about an autographed item from one another than Eddie George? A little bobblehead hey, action. Nice. There we go. Show it off to the crowd at home. That is the Titans trivia gauntlet. We're going to talk about this Bengals game. Coming to you live from Nissan Stadium. The crowd is still very excited. Lance Smith and Eddie George back with you. Eddie, it's so great to have you back. Man, glad to be back, brother. Got a big I one coming how, up. I forgot how fast this show goes. It goes fast, doesn't it? Yes, it, it does. Live TV. Yes, does. Uh, and, and the season goes fast, man. Yes, We're here at the end of it. It was also very strange this week having the number one seed just watching people play football, knowing that you're in it, uh -huh. but just twiddling your thumbs. Feels good. Yeah, it feels good. Yeah, yeah, it uh, well, the game is, uh, is fast approaching now, taking on these Bengals. Mm. Um, first of all, we lost to him last season. Is there any? Is there any going back to that? Is there any motivation just from no, that I, loss? I don't, it's a I different don't, team, different era, different time. It's just bigger than that at this yeah. point. That's that was in the regular season. They, I think at the time, they were what uh, three had won three games or yeah, two games, I mean, something would, like that. Four they, games total. Yeah. So this is a completely different animal mm -hmm. this time. Uh, no sure. point intended, Bengals. So. Yeah. <laughs> but um, they uh, they're playing with a great deal of confidence. They're balanced offensively. Joe Burrow is playing probably the best football of any quarterback right now. I mean, you can. He's the future. He's the, the future team, of. Sure. Yeah. But just weapons and galore. That division. Yeah. I mean, the receiving core is deadly. Uh, Chase, who's a rookie, he's having a phenomenal year. Mixon is awesome on the ground, and of course, Burrow is, is again. He's playing great football. It's going to be a great test for for us. Um, in our in our secondary, and of course up front, they got to, they've got to make him uncomfortable in the pocket. Now, see, that's just the okay. So yeah, Jamar Chase, 40, over 1,400 yards a season, 13 touchdowns. T. Higgins, over 1,000 yards, six touchdowns. Tyler Boyd, 828 yards, five touchdowns. It's a three-headed receiving monster. And yes. yeah, you mentioned him as Jamar Chase as, as, a, as a rookie, but they have such chemistry. There's, there's no rookie thing happening there. They know each other. Right. Jamar, uh, uh, he's just uh, throwing it up. Joe's just throwing yeah. it up for Jamar, knowing that he's going to well, come down with it. Well, the, the key is going to be this um, offensively for or defensively for the Titans is to make them one dimensional. Mm -hmm. If they provide balance, if Joe Mixon is rip, ripping off four yards of pop mm -hmm. and able to make all break all big runs, that sets up the pass. Now, I like our chances better mm -hmm. when the ball is in the air because two, three things can happen. You can catch it, get an interception or incomplete, and two of them are bad. So yeah. that'll be a good thing for us. Sure. Yeah. So I like that. Uh, offensively, we gotta protect the football. Yeah. And we gotta play Titan football. We gotta win time of possession because that means that potent offense and Joe Mixon and Joe Burrow and all those receivers, those frisbee catching dogs, yeah. are on the sidelines, <laughs> and we have a chance to control the ball game. You always said you, and it just echoes in my head. It's one in the trenches. It's one in the trenches. It's one in the trenches. Yeah. And this season, it's never been more evident. And we're only rushing four most of the time. I mean, our front That's four good. up front: Nasty. Dupree, Landry, Simmons, oh. Autry. It, it, it is. Uh, it's the most underrated front defense in the NFL. How does Jeffrey Simmons not make mm. All Pro is beyond me. I, I mean, again, I, I'm just. Can, can I just say, just as a fan, I'm glad he didn't, because he's gonna take it out on everybody <laughs> that he stands across <laughs> from. So, yeah, no question. No question. Man. No question. Uh, yeah, and and just overall, uh, number one seed. Talk to the rookies for a second. Talk to the rookies about what they're stepping Well, I mean, listen, number one seed really doesn't mean anything. Okay. Um, all it means is you punched your ticket to play an extra week. You got a bye week. Um, and it's it means that, hey, you know, you got to come out and there's extra pressure because you're playing at home um, off the bye week 
with a team that comes in with really no pressure. So it's going to be um, a great game to watch. Yeah, no, it's going to be an incredible game to watch. It's going to yeah. be an incredible game to be at, and you better be here, and you better be loud. Also, to get you ready for it, Friday 6th in Peabody, check it out on your screen right here, uh, 6.30 to 9 p.m., a little pep rally action. Yes. We are going to get ready for this game. Uh, listen, number one seed, uh, home field advantage throughout the playoffs. we got to make a statement. Make a statement. We want to win. We want to win. Well, I mean, because we want another one next week. Eddie George is so good.